All right, we're going to talk about IT environments. And this is really important because it starts setting the groundwork for how you can be thinking about cybersecurity and how it all fits into the real world. Because at the end of the day, these attacks are impacting IT environments. So if you can understand how these environments are built, you can then get a better idea of how they happen. So let's go over a quick agenda here. So we're gonna talk about what an endpoint is. We're gonna talk about Windows Active Directory. We're gonna talk about how computer networks are built. And then we're gonna talk about where the cloud fits in in all of this. So we're gonna cover a lot of information. We'll break it down into smaller bite-sized chunks, but just be prepared to learn. Now, before we jump into it, I do wanna talk about why this matters. And I hinted at it a little bit there. Uh, you know, the first reason being is it's really important to understand how the house is built. In this case, the house here is how is the IT environment built? How are the systems constructed? And how do they operate together? How does the network traffic traverse? All this is really important because it builds a foundation for how an attacker moves throughout the environment. Now, the other important thing here is that we have to shift our mindset from a checklist to a graph. Now, this is something that's really important for security people in particular, but really anyone else that is trying to learn or break into cyber. And again, the reason for this is that it really gives you the ability to visualize how these attacks happen. After an attacker breaks into an environment, how are they moving throughout? And so, you know, some people will visualize this as just a story and, you know, look at it as this text. But when you can shift that mental model into these graphs, you can start seeing more visually how an attacker moves around and, and specifically, you know, what impact different areas of an attack can have here. And then lastly, as I mentioned, IT forms the foundation of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity exists because there are inherent weaknesses in IT systems and attackers exploit those to take advantage of it and ultimately are able to operate within the environment and accomplish whatever their objective is. Uh, and so one of the things before we jump into this, just think about this quote from John Lambert, defenders think in lists, attackers think in graphs. As long as this is true, attackers win. And so at the end of all of this, the main thing that I want you to get away from this is that as you're looking and reading about these attacks, you're visualizing how an attacker moves throughout an environment, because I promise you it's going to make cybersecurity that much easier.